All right, so today I want to introduce the VMware SD-WAN client solution to everyone. So I'm going to do this from the portal. And here on the orchestrator, we can see that the first thing that we're presented with is a dashboard. The dashboard gives us a heads up of the activity that's going on on the overlay. Now, more interesting is the concept of connections. Now, I don't want to take the time to drill into every component here. That's going to be for uh, future videos. But I think connections will really drive home the power of the solution. So here we see two networks that are created. And I want you to think as networks is something a little bit more powerful than traditional IP connectivity. This is more a policy engine that does broker connectivity only if it's permitted. So the first network that we see is IT admins only. So IT admins only uh, has several configuration options here. So we'll work from right to left. If we start from the right, we'll see that the source is a group of IT admins, so users assigned to this group. And they are permitted to go to the destinations of client connectors and servers. These are the resources or the ability to get to the resources that are, make it useful for users to do their job. Now we have context. Context is further restrictions. Think about office hours. Monday through Friday, nine to five. What physical geography are they permitted to work from? Is your IT staff only in one geography? Go ahead and restrict them to that particular geography. Now, as far as rules are concerned, this is the services that they need to access. So SSH, RDP, um, FTP, things of those nature, you include that into the rules. And so what we have here is when an IT admin goes to connect to one of those resources, uh, be it behind a client connector or directly on the server, they are going to ask the fabric for permission. Do I have the permission to build a connection to those destinations? If it matches the criteria that's listed here, then the connection will be established, permitted, and restricted to the traffic that you specified. If there is no match in this first rule, it will fall to the next one, so on and so forth. If you don't explicitly define the connectivity, then no connection will be established. So hopefully this is getting you excited about this technology. It's very interesting, it's very powerful, it's very flexible. So stay tuned for more videos as we dive deeper into the product. Thank you for your time.